up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Proudly representing Sydney, Australia, he was born in New Zealand, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. He has put together one of the greatest winning streaks in the history of this middleweight division and did to Yoel Romero what few men have been able to do. Few men can stand across from Romero and just even live to tell the story right. of fighting him in the octagon. Robert Whitaker has done that twice and gotten his hand raised in the rematch. Whitaker is a truly, truly phenomenal mixed martial artist has a traditional background, but he also has a wrestling knowledge that is very underrated. He does not just get taken down, he's able to get back to his feet very well, and he has cardio for days. He's truly one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. And he's a grappler at his core. We talk oh, yeah. so much about his boxing, but the guys at Gracie Jiu-Jitsu at Smeaton Grange will tell you, this guy started as a grappler, still grapples in the gi during training camp. Robert Whitaker, back in, ideally, in a big way for him here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Both fighters, 29 years of age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 19 wins, two losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Drake has still not to And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, Robert Whitaker. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. Another big night for the MMA leader from Las Vegas, Nevada's T-Mobile Arena. Been a lot of seminal moments in this building. I can think of one. It was a big one for me, UFC 226. But John, also UFC 200. I got this down across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, you get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile Arena. Whitaker gets back up. No surprise there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the pen. The next with the right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Got the single collar tie. Whitaker's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Immediately gets the underhook. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he... Oh! shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Right, 
Right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeVing has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 34 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Knockout Robert Whitaker. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by Knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.